Hi everyone, it's Sherry. I hope that you're having a wonderful day. Y'all, look at this mess. Stay tuned. Welcome to my channel. I am so glad that you decided to stop by and welcome to all of my new subscribers and to all of my new friends. Thank you so much for the wonderful ways in which you support me and my channel. I did something to my front facing camera and it's not picking up video. So today we're going to be hands only until I can get IT over to check it out and get me up and running again. But today's going to be a very quick and easy little project. But look at this mess. Just look at it. Y'all, I literally have hundreds of sheets of scraps in these varying sizes and they are scraps that are left over from kits that I've made. And I can't bring myself to throw them out because look at how large they are. I can find a way to use these and that's exactly what we're going to do today. We are going to take a few of these and we're going to make these sweet little boxes. These are perfect stocking stuffers and you'll see that we actually have a couple of boxes here and I have them tied off with some beautiful ribbon. Each box when finished is approximately two by two by three and a quarter. So they really are nice for putting little things in that you might want to tuck in a stocking or you might decide that you want to present something like this as a secret Santa gift. This is just a little acknowledgement, a little thank you. So I'm going to find four sheets of scrap and we're going to make this. So I think this time I want to go with this color combination. So these two that I'm using for the base, they're actually eight and three quarters by four and almost three eighths. So we're going to use them just as they are. So we're going to score on the eight and three quarter inch side at two, at four, at six, and at eight. Then we're going to score on the four and a quarter inch side at one and an eighth. And we'll do both of these. So again, we're going to score on the long side at two, at four, at six, and at eight. And on the shorter side, we're going to score at one and an eighth. This is just one of those fun, quick and easy little projects that you can do in no time. As a matter of fact, you can cut these out and if you have some grandkids over, you can have them put them together with either glue or tape. So what I'm doing is I'm removing the corner piece. And then I'll go along the bottom. And on each side of the score mark, we're going to notch out. Let me turn it over this way because I think I can see the score marks better. So there's one of our boxes. Then I'm just going to take this one and we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to fold and burnish all of those scores. And I actually want this going in this direction. So I'm going to do it like this. And then we're going to remove this corner piece here because what's left will be our adhesive flap, which will be right there. Let's go across the bottom and let's notch out on the score mark. So we're notching out a little triangle or a V. And so there are our two boxes. We're going to take our glue. You can use tape on this because these boxes probably won't be bearing any real weight. Then I'm going to just take this and put it together like that. And you can see that we have some flat fold boxes. So then to put it together, you just fold in your sides like this. And then I'm just going to take my glue 
place some glue on these pieces. And then we can just fold them over, stand it up, go on the inside, and make sure that I have a stick. And now we'll put the second one together. Take my glue, add some glue to that glue flap. Let's go ahead and create that nice little flat fold box by joining the two together. Then I'll fold in the sides. Let's go ahead and add some glue. And then I'll add some glue to these pieces. Fold over. Get that nice and stuck. Stand it up. Go on the inside with my fingers or your bone folder or your stylus or your ruler. Whatever you have that's going to fit on the inside to help that stay stuck. Now we have our two little boxes and they're very complimentary. So I am going to take two more scrap pieces and I am going to cut them down to four and one eighth by four and one eighth. Then I'm going to score both pieces at one on all four sides. So that's both pieces at one on all four sides. Then I'm going to fold and burnish my scores on both pieces. Y'all, it's amazing what we can do with our scraps. If you have some scraps, don't throw them out. Just look at the sizes and figure out what size boxes or bags you can make with those scraps so that you can use them for those littles that you might want to give away. You might not want to give a huge gift to someone, but you want to give a small gift of acknowledgement like this. Something like this is the perfect size for that. So we're going to go ahead and go to the score mark, drag down, and angle in. And we do this on all four sides. Again, I'm going to turn it to this side because for some reason it's just easier for me to see the score mark. So I'll angle in there. Same thing here, angle in, same thing here, angle in. Let's go ahead and do this one. And then we'll just put these together using glue, but you can also put them together using tape. And our last one. All right, so now we're going to put those lids together. We're going to take our glue, place our glue on our tabs, and then we're going to glue the tabs to the body of the box or the lid. And you want to make sure that when you're doing that, you have your edges nice and crisp like that. So we're just matching end to end. So there's one lid, then we're going to do the same thing here, add the glue to our tabs. And we just fold over and match those corners. The same thing here. And I just take my finger and run it along the edge and if it feels like it's sticking out, I just slide it back just a little bit because we want nice, tight, crisp corners. So there's lid number two. 
Now I'm going to bring in my box and I'm going to place my lid on that box and I'll place my lid on this box. And how stinking cute are those? So now I'm just going to take a couple of sweet treats, put them in the box. You can put some shredded paper in the box too if you like, but I am just going to add those sweet treats and that's how my boxes look on the side. Then I'm going to bring in just two strips of ribbon and the ribbon size really is up to you, but I'm going to take my tape runner and just run some tape along that ribbon because I'm going to take these boxes and put them down in the tape so that they don't move while I tied the first ribbon. And I'll straighten those boxes in just a minute. So I'm just tying a knot on the first one. Let's get our boxes nice and straight. Then I'll take that second piece of ribbon. I don't need to put any tape this time. So I'm going to take this ribbon and I'm going to place it so that it is running right between the two boxes and that way it'll hold the two boxes in place. So I'm going to place that right there on the ribbon and I'm just going to tie it off into a bow. So I'm going to get that nice and tight. Then I'm just going to trim off a little bit of that and a little bit of that and now I can just play with this bow until I have it like I want it and y'all like it literally play with it all day and still not have it like I want it but I'm going to stop and I'm going to trim off some of the tails and there we have another sweet little gift set that we can give to someone I'm going to take that piece of ephemera and just tuck it right there. And so there we have two sweet little gift sets that we can make in minutes to give to someone. You don't have to put a whole lot in them. As you saw, I put chocolates in mine. You can put, if you have mini toiletries, those will fit in. If you have other littles that you might want to give, that will fit as well. But I wanted to bring in my stack of Christmas scraps again because I have a lot of Christmas scraps that I hate to go to waste. So I am definitely going to take those scraps and turn them into some workable projects so that you'll have ideas on various ways that you can use the scraps that I know you have as well. So y'all, I hope that you have enjoyed this fun, quick and easy way to take those scraps and turn them into something useful. If you have, y'all, please hit that like button. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, I'd really love to have you join this amazing online crafting family. I think it's one of the best on YouTube. As always, please be safe, be kind, be the reason someone smiles today. Happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.